Hello, Lola. So welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you are new to this channel, where you been? <laughs> Hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And also, guys, if you have not joined the Chatterbox, please make sure you join the Chatterbox. The link is in the description bar. It is $1.99 to join um, to be a member. And you do have to be at least 18 years old. So it's grown content. Um, mostly just doll life, uh, just girl time. I guess if any uncles join, um, just a hangout, just a, a doll hangout, so to speak. Um, Sometimes I do share, you know, parts of behind the scene of my personal life um, in there, but not too deep, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, so if you guys do not know who this is, this is Baby Zora. And Baby Zora is the... Margot Scope by Cassie Brace Face. And she has the limb by Bonnie Brown arms and legs. Okay. Sometimes it's hard to say limb limbs. <laughs> so I'd be like, okay, let me just say arms and legs. Because, yeah. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to get her out of this. I am like really like tired of her being bald right now, but we're working with it. In one of my previous videos, I was talking about, I didn't like the fact that her head would slump, like it would like slouch down. So someone had suggested that I use a, um, like a PVC pipe or something to like create, basically what they were saying was create an armature. And I was like, just the night before, I think I had did a live and I showed my pieces of my armature that I didn't use, I was gonna throw away. And I was like, what if I break off a piece of that and give her like a neck, like a spine a little bit? And I didn't have that much left. So it goes about, probably about to here, right at her, you know, her chest bone and go up. So it allows her to lean back, lean forward, lean to the side. Like it really allows her to move with, as if she has an arm, you know, a really decent armature. So she can look up and hold the pose and not, I don't have to worry about her head falling. That little piece just made such a big difference in her. She doesn't squeak when I move her because she doesn't have the whole armature in her and everything. And so, it's really, really cool, and I'm so happy with that. Because as I mentioned before, I, I know that she may not be the favorite. Seems like Joey is getting a lot of the attention right now, and he is absolutely gorgeous. Trust me, I, I love him too. Um, But this is my favorite. <laughs> this is my favorite. Joey is definitely a favorite. I Right now, I'm loving most of my... Well, all of my babies in my collection. So I'm kind of on the fence if I could let them go or not. But yeah, but um, Zora just came right in and 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 stole my heart. And I'm gonna put her back on the outfit that she had wore before, but I didn't like it because I didn't like the way her head was slouched in it. So I'm gonna try it again now that I've um fixed her little head and stuff. Um. I'm trying not to beg my rooter because I know she has other obligations and you know I remember I did the video about pushing people too far but I'm so close to like begging her to just do Zora hair please <laughs> for me like one more head but you know I don't want to be too pushy so I may wait and I am considering maybe sending Milani to someone else for rooting I'm just so um, used to my rooter and we work so well together, um, I'm, you know, that I just kind of like wait on her a lot of times. But I will use other rooters. So, um, yeah. But if you are looking for a rooter, Manda from First Time Reborn Moms also roots and she's offering rooting services as well just um to let you guys know i um and i may use her uh 
I don't know the other person my other sis I don't know if she offered it out like that but I, I I asked someone else as well that paints babies about uh rooting but um yeah she so like you know like to me Zora is just like not pure perfection like there's some little like things that's like oh you could tell I it's a little different than what I would normally do. I love the way her little feet look. Sorry. Um, but she is like, I don't know. She's just perfect for me. But anyway, let's get her out of these clothes. And we're going to... I do like the way these little pants fit on her. Now look. <laughs> look at those little bum bums. She's so, so, so sweet. And if you see her when she's turned around like on my shoulder... What? Say, mommy. It's okay, baby. Be proud. Some of these helpers ain't got no hair either. My baby be like, why you exposing me? I can't wait till she get her hair. Because it's like trying to find like a hat to match every outfit. And sometimes when you put a hat on... It threw off the whole outfit, and I'll just be like, I don't even want to dress her now. I don't even want to change her clothes. So, she may be wearing the same thing for a long time because of that reason. No, I even pierced her ears to try to give her that look. But, she is mommy's girl. So funny. Joey be like, giving her the side eye when she's over there because right now they are like getting all the love I know the other babies are I don't you know like Milani don't care she just think everything is funny she don't care as long as she got her little toy or passy or whatever she is like whatever um but funny or not every time I think about selling Milani I kind of cringe at that too so I do have another Cody Bear blank kit to paint. Maybe I'll I'll paint it. But I haven't I haven't painted it yet. Oh sugar boop. <laughs> this look, this is her and just her her diapy. So as you can see, like her head, what I was telling you, like her head just sits up. I can lean it back, forward, you know, like tilt. It's not just, you know, the regular turn it. It actually like just tilt like ours will. I love that. I guess you have to be in person to see how it was compared to this. It was kind of like, woo, like kind of flimsy no matter how much I stuffed her. Um, it just wasn't working out. So it's magic in the way we have to uh, weight these babies, guys. I'm telling you. You gotta, you gotta weight them just right. Am I doing this right? I can't remember which way was the easiest way to put this on. Should I have to come? She got some extra thread coming out this outfit. I should have uh, clipped. But yeah, I, I. I have been like shopping for Lulu a little bit. I said I wasn't going to do it until I finish, you know, see her hair and, you know, see her all the way through. But I couldn't help myself the other day. I had to get her a few things because I'm like, she'll get here and she won't have anything to wear. So back in the day when I first started collecting these babies, I would shop like before I got the babies, I would buy them a whole bunch of stuff. And then I realized that when the baby got to me i didn't like them in none of the outfits so i was like yeah so i started i stopped doing that and i used to the only thing i would do would buy the basics like onesies um socks um you know bibs hats blankets little stuff like that um versus actually clothes outfits until the baby got home because depending on their skin tone, depending on how their hair look, you know, their size of what you think look good up against them. And 
it was just me just wasting money pretty much because unless I had another baby that could fit it um because it was it was not it was not what I had wanted it to be let me put your hat on or maybe I should go ahead and button everything up first hat how this hat go should it go like this yeah and then it's supposed to just snap but because come on let me see but because it's kind of wide wider than her head i actually tied it the last time didn't i and i can put it and then there i like it like that all right so let me her so yeah so i'm i am kind of <laughs> if i showed you guys like her lulu is laying here in the bed well just her legs i was going to put her like chest plate on the body at least but the zip ties i had was too small so hopefully they come today so at least she'll have a chest plate so she literally is dressed with just her legs and just the cloth part that's up there but the the uh the chest plate ain't even on oh my gosh guys when i tell you when i get hyped up and excited about a baby i really get hyped up and excited about it i think i did the only other baby that i did that with well i've done it with other babies but not to the extreme of like every day wanting to go in and put them on something else and they ain't even got nobody was um phoenix so if anybody want to judge me and call me crazy you could call me crazy for that because that's just insanity even i can admit to that like who does that that is so stupid but hey it is what it is i'd be excited y'all like a little kid i don't know this hobby just has its ways of really getting us hyped up and it i mean i don't know what it is about it like i don't know like is it worse than being addicted to a drug because i think this is more expensive <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying we gotta go out and do drugs, okay? I'm just saying that this is a bit much. Like, I just be so hyped up. Like, and then sometimes, you know, people crave Snickers, ice cream. I crave mediums. Like, I'm, I'm craving the paint silicone right now. So, I've been a little bit, a little bit of this, a little bit of that with a couple of silicone babies that I got here. Because I be craving like crazy stuff. Or I want a particular size baby and I'll just be craving to have that baby. Can I just crave ice cream? It's so much cheaper. Like, even if I paint for myself, it's expensive. <sighs> oh my God. So, I'm trying to just say, you know, that's it for this year. Other than the ones that I'm working on. I'm definitely going to put Lil Grumpy up for sale. I'm thinking she's going to be. Probably won't be ready until a little bit before Christmas. Maybe Thanksgiving. She might be ready. Rooted and painted. And everything. And I'll be able to show her. But she will definitely go up for sale. Um, And I have my little peanut baby that I'm working on. Just fyi and that one i will not sell because it's gonna be somewhat probably probably of a boo-boo baby maybe because at one point um i had set the container down low and i have carpet bad idea um i don't know if i left the top off or what but it was like little stuff got on it i think um so i took it scrubbed it down and then i tried to pick everything off of it i don't even know if that's what it is or what but it's not on one side the texture is not as smooth or something i don't know but anyway it may not be an issue when when he's finished but he's i'm not gonna sell him um plus i'm experimenting with some color with him and stuff like that so yeah, he's not going to go out for sale. He's going to be definitely an experimental baby. I've donated him to science. <laughs> so.
So, yeah, that's what I, when I say I donated them to science, that be, they gonna be experiment, experiment, experiment. But I am planning on finishing him, rooting him, everything already. He got little outfits and stuff. He is the birdie by Elsie Rodriguez. So I do plan to keep him. He'll probably be a baby that I just told around with me everywhere. Because I like the little ones. They just, I don't know, something about them. Um, so... Yeah, and he's a boy and he got little armatures. So, I, I think I'm going to definitely keep him. I hope that his coloring come out good. So, that will be a plus. So, he'll be my, my little personal baby. That, you know, kind of like what happened with Phoebe. Phoebe will never leave just because she does have some little issues here and there. So, um, she's gorgeous though. That's the sad part about it. She turned out so gorgeous, but she does have a few issues here and there. That and then her me going back and repainting her and all that and stuff. Like her limbs are not perfection like I would have. Like they originally were when I first painted her. They're not the, as the same or whatever. So those babies I just keep donate them to science. Phoebe is special to me. I love her. Um, but I wouldn't put her out to be sold. And plus she's so sweet and soft and cuddly. And I won't never get a willow again, I guess. At this point, I've asked all my friends that have blanks sitting in their closet. And they will not give it to me. Or sell it to me. <sighs> but I understand. Because if I had a blank one, I wouldn't sell it either. But I do know a few people that actually still do have blank willows that have not painted them yet. But they have not. They're not parting with them yet. Or ever. So I've been told. So they plan to paint them themselves. Oh, she got this little thing on her forehead. And I've been trying to get it off for the longest. It's like, it's is it stuck in your paint? It's like a little fuzzy. And y'all talk about us picking stuff off the silicone. Anyway, mwah. Ah, I love her. I know, I know, I know. Some of y'all are just like, why do she love that baby? But she is just so cute. I just love her. I love her. I love her. I love, 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 love her. She is definitely my favorite. Say, I am definitely mama's favorite. Anyway, we'll see how things work out when Lulu gets here because that's going to be interesting because Lulu looks like that sculpt. Like I keep telling y'all, I look so much like one of my daughters and mostly the mouth. Oh my gosh, she makes that face even today. And so, um, I don't know what it is. It's like she looks like her, she looks like her when she got older i think but this is like in baby form i don't know and it's the expression on her face she literally makes that expression so i don't know but joey looks like her too like and it's like i can't get over the sculpt i can't get over the sculpt i just cannot um it's like the willows the willows look like my children i cannot get over the willow sculpts like i just can't when that happens, it's just, I'm just too drawn to them. I can't, nothing will ever compare unless something else comes out, look like another one of my kids or so on and so forth. You know how it go. But yeah, so we'll see how I feel about Lulu when she's all together. Because sometimes when I get here, I don't, I don't like them no more. Which is weird. Sometimes once they get here, I just be like, mm. And the hair can be just gorgeous. It just... I'm so used to seeing them ball. I don't know. But we will see. I handpicked out her hair. I sent the hair. Everything. So. I. She's. Hopefully. I love her. Because I am loving her legs. And her arms. All in pieces over here. Anyway. Let me go. This has been a long, long video. I will see you guys later. As you guys see. I feel better. Thank you guys for all the prayers and the well wishes and I am off to root. I got a little bit more to go. Like, come on, baby, come on, close up. Close this hole. Get them edges.